Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. Okay, we got the tail done. We got the rump done. And we sanded this all out. So we're prepping it now so that we can uh, start marking feathers on here. And I'm going to show you that technique too. But first, we got to get them into size and everything else. So the first thing we're going to approach is I'm going to show you how to draw and get all the breast feathers in. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to bring the camera down, and then we'll go from there. Here we go again. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is you got, you have your, your beak, and if somebody has too much material under the beak here, uh, one way to alleviate that, and let me show you, I'm trying to, uh, uh, let me go back to the pair here, and I'll demonstrate a little bit. It depends on your profile and how this is coming up and, and sort of matching the drawing here. If you're, you should be coming up where maybe I should have the beak out a little bit more and take a little bit more, more material just where the beak is here and where the feathers start. So it seems like it's a little fat right in this area here. So what I'm going to do is get the pair. I'm going to come in here, if you can see this, and I'm going to flatten that up right underneath that beak and take some of the material out so that the the beak seems a little more prominent and, and it's all a, you have to take a look at it to see what you think is suitable i'm looking at this on mine and felt as though if i clean that up a little bit and bring that in that should help and then it has a, a profile where it, we come in and then we slide under the beak and i think that may be a better look i'm trying to bring it in a little bit more and the beak starts to come into its own and the feathers are going to come up to it. Now the thing I need to do, I put that pencil line, this is the edge of the beak here and it comes around to here. So what I want to do is come in with the flame tip ruby put that in there and this is the flame tip ruby and then come in and bring the beak down into play on that pencil one I have just want to massage that a little bit in there so what that beak to look like This feathering walking up onto it. And I think that should do it. Now I'm just going to clean that up just a little bit. So I think the profile is a little bit better just by taking just a little bit right where my finger is resting there. And I don't want any hard edges. If I left any what I call hard edge, if you could feel like a little bump or something like that, then I want you to get that out of there now let me show you this here we go i'm gonna put this back in this thing's coming up and then it's coming around like so okay now from that start of the beak under there 
I want you to measure down on what would be the center line of the head. I know we sort of lost it somewhat, but I'm going to try to draw it back in. And uh, it's approximately about the center, okay? I'm going to measure. Excuse me again. I'm going to measure from the, the end of what would be the beak on the underneath side here, down an inch, and then put a dot here. Okay, so one inch down from this point to here. There to there. Now, I'm going to make an arc. And I'm going to have a fairly wide one. It's, I should say, flat, you know, coming around here. And I'm going to just spin it up a little bit this way and a little this way, just like that. Okay, so it's balanced on both sides, all right? So you have that as a border, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Here's a finished one I've done already. And one inch down from here to here is where we burn it in. And I'm looking for that soft look of feathers around the top of the head. And this we're going to lift and we're also going to stone. Okay. So, uh, and what I mean by stoning is we're going to texture it so, and you're going to do it with a stone. So let me show you how I go about marking the feathers out now. Now here is, I'm going to start out with fairly small C's like so, and then I'm going to build up. And, oh, oh, wait a minute. One other thing I need to do, too. See right off of this beak line here? I meant to show you this. I should have done this before I even did that. Uh, you are maybe a good eighth of an inch off of what would be the burn up here. So you're going to come out here. And you're getting just a little bit wider on, on this line of action here. And I'm going to come off the beak right here. And I'm about an eighth of an inch off of what I call the cheek or the burn we have here. And then I'm going to come out just a little wider. And right in that area there, I'm going to have you, and this is especially where this beak comes around and goes back here and it does it on this side too it just has a c in here and then goes out we want to continue Oops, grab the wrong spot Hold on. we want to come off that c which is right there and then come down okay so from that c i'm going to lay and i'm not going deep I'm going to indent with the plane. And I'm not going that deep at all. So if you could see that, I'm just getting the point in there. And as I get to the end, it fades off. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come out. And just indent a little bit. Okay, now just to help you so you can see it better, I know it's getting challenging for me and that's why I like to put the pencil lines in there so you can see it. I'm going to soften this side ever so slightly so I leave the crease in there and then ever so softly on this side I'm going to do the same thing. I'm sort of going into that crevice and rolling it out so that there's like a crease there, but it's, it, it fades. And I'm going to do this on this side too. And then this side. Okay. And that softens it out. Now, 
knew I forgot something. Now we're building between these lines that I just drew and they get bigger as they come out, but not real, real big. As you can see, they just increase a little bit more each time. And, uh, bigger each time right to that point it doesn't matter if you go over it or what but I'm just trying to get a line where uh, we want to uh, say okay we're going to burn up to this point and we're we're going to lift it and undercut it on the rest now in this area here I'm going to start out by putting a small one in right up front here. And then as it gets wider, you can see that I'm going to piggyback these, but I'm not getting them real, real big. But the, as you can see, as they come back, they get a little bit longer as well. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to put a little one in here. Then I got another one, and another one. Maybe that's a little too big. So I'll put that one in. That one. That one. <laughs> Sorry again. And we get one more right in there like that. Okay, so that's the front end. Now, as we start marching down, we're going to get larger as we come down. So, now I'm going to jump around a little bit and throw one in there. One in here. And as you can see, I have increased it a little bit more. But I'm doing this gradually now. I'm not going like I'm going to make real real large ones i'm not i'm gonna fill this in here i'll step this in here i'll get one right in there and i'm gonna leave this line in here just as a real light line that it's a reference so we know where to start our burn we know where to start our relieving for the bigger breast feathers here, okay? So, I'm going to come around here. Now, there's a couple of different techniques that you can do in the breast area. Right now, I'm showing you uh, <clears throat> probably uh, the easiest one because we're not really exaggerating of the rough not the roughness but the curvature and, and how feathers lay and everything else but on maybe another bird i do down the road here <clears throat> excuse me uh we're going to cut grooves in here okay but right now you're seeing this is very smooth and i'm i'm trying to keep that look right now uh but uh there may be a time when you're going to see me groove the breast area more and uh and that's before we even start put feathering on and and we'll build within those grooves uh that we have on here and uh that is uh another technique that we add in there and you can even uh, accomplish that before you start the feathering here you uh, for some of you that may have carved before, uh, you've seen that done, and you can incorporate that into your bird as well. I just felt as though the finch uh, could stand on its own 
with just a, a smoother brush, but uh, it's a, you know, uh, like I've said before, I'm showing you my techniques, and I don't know if everybody gets into involved with the detail that I'm getting into. And there are some out there that really do some great detail work and and uh, and techniques. So um, uh, I always look at what I'm doing is like my interpretation and my technique. But you you can always learn. I mean, trust me, there are some super talented people out there that uh, do bird carving and. Even though I'm showing you how to do some of this, and uh, you can see I'm increasing up to about middle of the of the breast, and then uh, I'm going to start reducing down, but very low. But anyway, uh, keep yourself open to what I'm showing you, and then you build off of that, you know, and. And there's, you can always learn all the time from other people as well. You know, I'm trying to uh, use, for some of you, you may be seeing this for the first time, and then other people may have been carving for years, and I, I hope I'm helping them out a little bit by maybe seeing some things that I'm doing that they haven't done before. Or uh, if you're doing it for the first time, I'm going to get you to, <coughs> excuse me, come up with a pretty decent, uh, uh, what's it, product when we get done that, you know, I try to make the birds as realistic as I can. So uh, if you bear with me, I'm trying to show you some of the things that uh, we try to accomplish, but you know, uh, there's a lot of ways of doing it. And, and I'm just uh, trying to open up your minds and show you how I approach it. Uh, and, and, and there's uh, some, uh, I was just watching the other day, I, I got to uh, uh, flip around and uh, because I'm watching my own videos just to see, uh, YouTube is putting on some for uh, the Word Foundation show. Um, it's not the show, but the museum. Uh, Larry Barth. And Larry Barth is uh, well, probably one of the renowned uh, carvers out there today. I mean, he... He's won the world championship more times than you can count. And uh, he is an excellent uh, bird carver. And, and they had, oh, I guess over an hour in the uh, uh, techniques that he did and how he, he, he does his bird out of clay before he even gets started. And, you know, he, he has a lot of different ways of attacking a project and he is right on i mean as far as when he's uh mapping out some he's uh, the bird looks like the real bird in fact it looks better than the real bird now i'm into this lower <coughs> excuse me uh rump area so i'm going to get a little bit smaller Okay, as I come down, but not real fast, but we will get tiny here. But, uh, yeah, I was watching that video and, uh, excellent. Uh, you're, you're seeing a master at his work, you know, and, uh, I, uh, I can appreciate, uh, his stuff. I can remember when I, I got started, uh, it's kind of funny watching him. He's gray now, <laughs> and I and I knew him when he was just getting out of college, competing at at the World uh, at Ocean City Maryland show, and uh, he he had 
to me, the best piece going. And uh, he's he hasn't not lived up to anything else but the best. But now, here's, here's what I did. I started small up to this point, and I graduated slightly. You're a little large, a little smaller, and graduating up to this. Then you graduate a little bit more, a little bit more until you get to here. Then you start going smaller, 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 but in graduation. So take a look at what I got there, and you can see it. And I want you to do that on yours, okay? So uh, I'm going to stop at this point, and then on the next video, I will show you how we uh, handle these, okay? So hope you got something out of this one again. Uh if you did, uh, definitely give me a thumbs up. And if you uh, could subscribe to my channel, you'll help me out greatly. And if you ever need anything or if I can give you any advice or anything, definitely contact me uh, in the comments section uh, of the video. And uh, I will definitely get back to you and if I can help you out in any way or recommend things to you, I'll do that. So thanks again, and we'll catch you on the next video, and we'll start marching into the breast area. Bye now.